The winners and champions of Dancing with the Stars athletes are... There they go. They got the mirror ball, the moves, the steps, yeah. and the swagger. Joining us live, fresh from their big Dancing with the Stars winner, Adam Rippon and Jenna Johnson. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Are you exhausted yet? It's just a whirlwind, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I love these outfits. Oh, okay. Literally on What's fire. the inspiration behind it? Um, well, this is just like, you know, your casual, like, go to the gym, like, mosquito <laughs> track suit. Yeah, and, casual. And then this is your casual, like, spring cleaning. Go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to say congratulations, oh, you guys. You. you deserved it. You got it. What was the feeling when you were first handed the Mirror Ball trophy? Oh, okay. there it is. Yeah. Right here. It's right here. Yeah. I'll put it right here. I don't even know. I, we were just talking about this. I don't even know who handed it to me and hit, like, it was such a whirlwind whirlwind and a rush, but it's so like amazing. It's just a dream come yeah. true. I'm so grateful and to share it with him, it's yeah. Did you I, think you were gonna get it? Did you expect it at all? Well, you know what? I think that I felt like there was some extra pressure on me to kind of go out there and deliver every single time. And I feel like it was definitely a challenge. It was definitely something that was so totally out of my comfort zone. But Jenna's such a good teacher. And I think that if you're a pro on the show, your goal is to get that mirror ball and it's to prove that you can, you know, teach someone how to dance in such a short amount of time. And so by the end, I wanted to win it so badly, mostly for Jenna, because I think she's such a great teacher, but also brilliant choreographer. And um, I mean, it was just so cool. Yeah, it's, it's interesting to hear you say that. Why did you think there was extra pressure? Was it just kind of like the world you come from sort of lends itself to this already? I, mean, I think a little bit. Yeah. I think, and I think uh, I sort of feel like a performer anyway. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this will be fun. And then we went into the first rehearsal and I was like, school, I <laughs> can't do this. Well, you did such a great job every time. You definitely, oh, I mean, exceeded you. expectations, no doubt about that. So Adam, look, you're the first openly gay man to win Dancing with the Stars. What does that mean to you? Um, I think it means no more than just winning Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, I've been able to go out there every single time and just kind of be myself throughout the whole process. Um, I am not afraid to be different or a little weird. Um, and I think that like as a gay person, sometimes you always feel a little different or a little weird. Um, but I think on some level, we have all felt like that. And I hope that, you know, some young kid who sees me out there just being me and having a good time um, can relate to that and really embrace just being themselves. Yeah. yeah, I think that's amazing. And I interviewed you guys before you started, and you were already pretty much best friends on that carpet. <laughs> like, yeah. already, like, arm over the other one. So the judges constantly uh, praised you guys for your chemistry. How hard is it going to be to now not spend so much time together? Is there going to be separation anxiety here? Oh, absolutely. I already have it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's it's actually kind of fun. We're staying together in New York. We have one more day here. And then um, we actually have dinner plans next week. His boyfriend gets in town, and then my boyfriend will be back in town. Oh, tomorrow. nice. A double date already. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. We're stuck together. Because I, I remember when we talked on the carpet, you said you wanted to do a double date. Yes. So is that going to now happen? Yeah. Yes. We actually, we have separate separation anxiety when we do interviews and people are like, can, can you guys you scoot over? Yeah, no, <laughs> like, 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 I don't no. Want right to leg or else. <laughs> yeah. um, so guys, fans are weighing in on Twitter about your time on the show. Here's a question. One user asks, what was uh, one dance you wish you would have gotten to dance that you didn't get a chance to? Is there anything like that? I wish we could have done an Argentine tango. It's one of my favorite styles on the show, and I think that he would have been like super fierce, and we could have done something amazing. Um, yeah, Argentine tango would have been. Is that yours, Adam? Argentine tango, because it's like Jenna would have done something really fierce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every week I like learned a new a new style of dance. She's like, we're doing quick step, and I was like, great. Cool. Sounds oh, good. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lindsay's asking Jenna, will Adam try and teach you how to skate now that you have taught him how to dance? You know, I refused to get on the ice when we were on his Stars on Ice tour, but if I made him do all of these crazy dances every week, I think 
he deserves to be able to teach me something. So I'll take one for the team. I okay. deserve you know to be what? able to teach her how to do yeah. it. We're gonna, no, we're gonna go for the Olympics for pair skating. So yeah. that's our next well, We're looking for that. We already <laughs> have a few routines. We just, we're gonna bring those on. I feel like if the ice. do something they put their mind to, it would be. It, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, all right. So look, Adam, you were up against some big names on the show that everyone paid attention to. Tanya Harding, Josh Norman specifically. You've been open about some of your feelings about Tanya Harding, saying that there, you know, there are reasons and things that she was banned from skating. Talk to me about any interactions you had with her was it good terms was there ever awkward moments well you know what i think that um i didn't really know what to expect um because my only like prior knowledge of tanya is never meeting her and um just knowing that she was banned from skating and you know my whole world has been skating so we had never interacted before um i think that every time i ran into tanya she was so nice and i have really only positive things to say about our interactions together. She's honestly been really fun to like run into in the studio. That's great. Um, and I think the one thing um, about everyone at the show, everybody was so nice. And the one thing that I really wish was that I would have had a week to kind of experience the whole week of rehearsals with everybody. In LA, because we were traveling all the time. So yeah. Really yeah. Get to interact with So I everyone. really never saw anybody, which kind of Except sucks. on show days. Yeah, I would yeah. see them on show day and they're like, how are you feeling? I'm like, um, uh, great. Can't remember my dance moves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, do you think that the show kind of then changed her reputation in the skating community and kind of put her back in the spotlight in a good way? Um, I don't, I'm not sure. But I think that it's, it was a, I think it's really nice to see somebody kind of take advantage of this second chance. And um, I, I know that like every time that she went out there, um, she was, you could tell she was really like living in that moment. Yeah. I well, mean, the, I like, the, how many round offs did she do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about the show, I think, is fans, like, fans love the positivity of it. Yeah. It's such a fun experience, and it's nice to hear that that's kind of how you felt about it, even behind the scenes. We saw your family fer ferociously cheering in the crowd. Yeah. Were the boyfriends all there, too, bo both? Uh, mine was. Yeah. Mine wasn't. He's wasn't. coming okay. soon. Yeah. yeah, so we, we talked about this a little bit before, Aww. but we think Aww. that the double date's gonna happen. Yeah. What do we, do we have plans for it? Do you Is guys know what you're gonna do? Like where the dinner's gonna be? We're like living be? vicariously through this, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about a very bougie restaurant, Ooh. and we just wanna like have a very long sit down yeah. dinner. Just something just relaxing. Yeah. Cause those yeah. two haven't met yet. No. no. Okay. This will be the first time meeting. Jenna's never met JP in person yet, yeah. but she's- Via FaceTime lots of times. Yeah. And he sends me a text every Monday before the show. So, so Adam, he's in uh, Finland, right? Yes. Uh, but he, uh, you revealed that he's moving to the States. Yes. So, so will the two of you live together? How's that going to play out? Um, I, well, I think we'll live together. Yeah. But I think it's sort of like he's, um, it's just like a whole process to like move out here. I sure. like you're moving countries. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think it's something that we're like both really looking forward to. It's going to be a lot of fun. So you live together once it's once he's here, but that, that's a that's a uh, yeah going to change the dynamic, right? Having him no matter what, just being close by instead of having to. Do yeah, I mean that's a dynamic change. I'm like very open to. <laughs> of course, right. <laughs> What's been the biggest change now that you're in a serious relationship? Missing anything from single life? Not really. It's not a lot. To I miss. think, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I think like what's really nice is um, getting to kind of share these experiences together with somebody. Um, but I think that what is um, something that's a positive point of view from being in a long distance relationship is that you have to really focus on yourself. And I think that like if you focus on yourself and your your best version, you bring the best version of yourself into that relationship. And um, it's great to be able to share those experiences, but I think like if you're the strongest version of you and somebody else is trying to be the strongest version of themselves, it just, you raise each other up. That's really smart, yeah, really wise. Let me say this. I'm like kind of smart and really wise. <laughs> that is incredibly wise. Uh, Jenna, Jenna, I'll bring this up only because Val tweeted about it. Uh, I should definitely put a ring on it. So engagement, is that in the works? What do you think? Is he the one? Can we expect it sometime soon? Oh my um, goodness. I think he's definitely the one. Yeah. Um, we've just both kind of been trying to focus on this and he was doing a tour and so we'll see. I just, I wanted one shiny thing and then we'll wait for another shiny <laughs> thing. No, wait for the other shiny thing. This one's really good for Careful, yeah. these things right. happen in threes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's my third? Another two ring. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I know about them. We have some more questions from Twitter. Adam, fans want to know your plans for the future. Uh, 
I don't know, hopefully a well-paying job. <laughs> you think you could settle into like a full-time job? Tom? I think so, I don't know. I think that right now there's so many opportunities and um, I've been so busy with doing Dancing with the Stars and the Stars on Ice tour that um, I really haven't had like a moment to sit down and take a breath, yeah. which has been awesome because I've had the chance to experience so many different things and meet so many wonderful people. Yeah. And um, I think that right now there are so many open doors and so many possibilities. I'm gonna try to take advantage of every single one and then just see what I like and what I enjoy and what sticks. I think this is just the beginning for you. I think it's like endless possibilities. Yeah, so I, I can't wait to too. see what he does. Uh, for both so. of you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love this and I love seeing you in person that the chemistry is real. Everything that we've seen on camera <laughs> actually exists. I know. We, we knew, but we really know now. Uh, thank you for being here. Congratulations <laughs> on everything. So By the way, you. this one's way more sturdy than the last ones oh, that I've seen. Yeah. Come oh, I'm not kidding. Nice. This is like <laughs> small but sturdy. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> and guys, thank you for tweeting us your questions as well. Yes. We'll be asking you a new question of the day tomorrow on People Now, so come back at noon. Yeah, coming up tomorrow as well, we're uh, taking a deeper dive into People Magazine's royal wedding cover story, including a 38-page royal wedding album that you do not want to miss, all the behind-the-scenes photos and, th Thank and things like that. Thank you for watching. Now, Adam and Jenna, take it away with one last thing. Oh Are you my ready? gosh. Here we go. The <laughs> intro line. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Adam Rippon. And I'm Jenna Johnson. And this is one last thing. The last time I laughed so hard I cried, uh, it was probably during one of our rehearsals. I think it was when I was singing the song Brave. Oh. And I think I messed oh up Oh my God. Lyrics. Yeah, so Jenna's favorite thing to do is like, you know the song Brave by Sarah Bareilles? Yeah. <laughs> she would sing the lyric like, <laughs> I just wanna be free. Like I she thought it was free. Free. She would change the word brave to free. But <laughs> the name he, of this song is brave. I didn't know. Anyway, I think we almost peed our pants laughing so hard. Oh my god. I was very so committed. Funny. It's my favorite thing. Um, my last big splurge. I just I bought okay, so Val and I are going on vacation in a few weeks, and I just bought a lot of things from ASOS. I had to, because I don't have time to go shopping in person, yeah. and so I just was online, and I was like in my hotel room in Washington, and I was like, dong, 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 dong. It was bad. I think the last big splurge I got, oh, I remember being on Stars on Ice, and I was so tired. I said the only way I'm gonna get through this show is if I buy myself like a bracelet. So I did. And I made it through the show, and I was correct, so. <laughs> and you have a bracelet. Mm. The last thing I Googled, I'm pretty sure it was Meghan Markle's ex-husband because we were just talking about it. <laughs> and I didn't know that she was married before. <laughs> now I found out. <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> um, last thing I Googled. Is my phone here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what the last thing I Googled. Okay, that's it. Thanks, guys. Great. Thanks, bye. <laughs>